guys um, today I'm going to show you for the user um, user home page so um, what I'm going to do is we will have here uh, welcome page okay if we if we go back here to our um, home page uh, it's redirect to the welcome page so I don't want to do like this so I'm going to create one more controller it will be um, user controller user slash so this controller will be under the user folder so and yeah we are created here so there will be pub and as a public function it's called index so um this public function index will be here and i will go back here instead of uh, we are doing like this um i will move this thing into um under under uh, user controller so how can i do it um i will uh, copy okay i will copy um okay i will copy like this and then i will delete this and this two also so i'm going to call user controller class with the um, um, array like and then i will go index it will be the round name will be um user the home and then we're going to use a controller index um i just copy from controller this one so uh we will return like this okay initial render um inertia we import inertia here um so for the um for the routes we cannot use here in here like this we need to use like um app um and then router okay app how you be a router not has like this um we use like has with the like this okay with the arrow and then the same thing like this register as well so we'll do like this um for the application yeah application uh not from here application from i think uh illuminate foundation yeah illuminate um foundation application um this is a page version and something like this okay so right now i'm going to create um user folder and then i will create index so this will be the user home page okay so we are not going to redirect to webcam we are going to create find our own folder gs which is i'm going to create a new folder called user okay and at this user folder i will create index dot view like this so in the index of um, view i will create template and then i will set up the script um so like this or you can put this script at the top of the template or you can put under it's no problem so um i will form it so there will be like okay um dmv home okay so let's see our yeah here as you see home so now we can make um and i will show you here if we click uh, on the view component in azure we will have prompt data um with the auth user okay so this data has been returned can login can register from our user controller so we can share this data uh, from handed initial request handed initial request um uh, we will we will share this data okay the same data in handed initial request because um we need that um global um share data to um for the layout management in user that's why so open the initial uh, handed initial request of php file under the flag flash message that we um, did in the previous video uh, we can put like this for the application um we'll use illuminated foundation Okay. so this will be this data will be the um, global sharing from inertia okay um, I will close it again and I will go to index and we'll make um, some um, UI so in here um then the, the number here I will find an AB number in the flow by um, components you will see different kinds of number style so for me it's like I will use uh, with the drop down with the user this one okay um, I will use this one so I copy the code and I will paste in, inside the header so this will be our header um, when we go back and check it's it's not working but the problem is here um it's not working because uh, maybe um as you might remember when we set up in um, in a few gs we need to do one more thing for the main component um which is we need to mount okay we need to import mount uh or mount it in it flow by um, flow by so now it can be it's working okay uh okay so after a never uh, we will have footer okay footer will be here that will be a footer and then i will paste it like end so i will use a uh, footer here in a flow by as well a footer, a footer when i find footer uh, there will be different kinds of footer um you can you can choose whatever you want um sticky footer or something like this or okay so yeah uh, we will use sticky footer here so i paste it and i found it so this will be our main content okay so uh main c one t and content and end so um i will put a main content like a um product card crd product cards so like this okay um like this for the product cards but before we uh, add the product card we can have another ti and 20 css um ec or maybe e-commerce products list 
um, UI we have like this okay so um, we can um, use this as well we um, like this and in the products so I will show you I will show you um, we will use this DIV first and then we can change our cut in our main components I add like this so um, it's it's um, a loop okay the product list so the product list will be here the cons this is the um, the fake data here the perfect data so we can add in the script um, the products list okay so this product list data will be uh, will be will be loop in that component okay so let's see so we have one identity yeah, this is the sticky folder okay customer also purchase blah blah so um, this is the uh, an ATE as the latest the audio city product list okay we can say later uh, products list so if we add um, like in the list in the list um, if we add one more item like okay here it will be um, another one will be here list okay so I think uh, we'll use this UI I love it so we're not change we're not use the UI and flow byte so it, it will be good so this will be the main content um, if you wish to add like um, banner or something um, you can you can add like in a, in a blog in blog you can have like this okay hero session if you wish to use the hero session or something here um, like this or whatever so um, okay um, I will show you how to use this like copy code and then um, there will be like H -E -R -O, hero as e -C -T -I -Y, okay and then end something like this so this will be like this okay um, we are not going to use it one but um, if you wish to use um, you can use it so now we are going to manage the the, the, the the layout for the user index if we are using like this we need to uh, write code again and again I don't want to do like this so I will create new folder called ley for UTS okay and ley for UTS okay and uh, layouts in the layout folder we will call uh, not for that we will call another fine ley user layouts okay user ley for you ley for uts dot view user layout view in the user layout um and another fine is called you know, um, header the -E header dot view and we'll have footer dot view header footer and we'll have hero -E dot view this is the hero and we will copy all the code from the index okay to the user layout so we'll move all the code and then um what we do is we will move that number header into the header uh, fine okay so like this and we move the footer as well so in the user layout uh, they, they will be the header okay this is a session this is a footer here um, we will remove this footer and we will move with the template and then our footer will be there okay so for the user layout um, this will be this um, slot okay this uh, for the session I will move um, to the to the hero hero session I mean yeah so hero session is here and then this will be the slot okay uh, we will add like as an OT slot so this slot is going to render um, different kinds of slot so for the index uh, we will have template we will remove okay inside template we don't need everything because we are setting up in user layout template so here will be in this script um, we don't need any other thing because we are moving all the code into user layout so we will be here having our latest product list will be here okay um, so user layout in the user layout we have a uh, product list we will bring this product list back to our index because we will need this list in here, not in the user layout, because we use slot. So in there, um, we need to um, we need to call our header folder. Okay. So what we can do is that uh, we can call header here. Okay. We will import first. I M P O R T import um, H E A D E R header from header dot view, and we will import another is folder, folder from folder, and we will import another hero hero from hero so this will be the hdr header so this header and this slot and this will be the hero okay hero um hero hero so hero will be here and slot and the footer F -O -T -E -R, footer so we will form it again so slot will be rendering okay so um for the for the index um we are running in the user controller user index but user index never used the user layout that's why there is no header there is no footer so what can we do is um, we need to call that user layout import here um, user layout view from um, from that layout okay and we will use this layout we will wrap the existing product list content inside the template okay so this under this user layout we should have this product list so this product list will be included with the header and footer and everything like this okay so now we are good to go we have footer we have header so yeah so if you are not if you uh, doesn't want to use sticky footer you can change okay for me is i think i'm okay it's okay so uh, for the list of product we are going to show from 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 
PRO, the UCD, product control, uh, not product controller, user controller. So we were brand or the products, PRO, the UCD as equal to product model, um, where we were brand with the, with the PIND, PIND brand and CAD EQ, CAD and category and PRO, the UCD, IMAGES, product images, and we were, uh, we were, we were take only eight items, okay? Limit with the eight item and get. So with the limit of eight item, and we can pass this products, okay, um, products to dollar sign products like this, okay, like this, and then we will have our products from data in our index, index, and this is the default data, okay. So instead of using default data, we will go back to our prom um, here, okay. Instead of using this, we will delete everything here and define. P to find pro and then product uh, array it will be array so this product will be from our pro and it is now looping so when we um, check uh, as you see the, the, there is an eight item okay so um, the images for the images let me see let me see product product image okay and this is not name we have only product title okay TNT title so the title will be here okay this is the price uh, we can add um, dollar sign in front of the price and the color. We don't have color. Um, we have like brand or category. Okay, we'll say brand or name. So here it is Samsung or something like this. And we have product, um, PRO, UCD, uh, product IMGS, product images um, from product image zero dot IMGE. Okay. Uh, this is a list. That's why we are trying to find index uh, zero of that list and we use the image uh, from that product list. If we don't have that list, um, there will be an error. That's why we need to uh, validate for this part. Uh, for example, if we get if, okay, product image dot alien G, alien G launch greater than zero. If it is greater than zero, we will show image. If not, uh, we will show another um, here if we get S, okay? Here, if we get E, L, S, if we get S. Um, in here, um, what I want to do is I will concatenate um, using this um, dollar sign and like this, and then I will add select because um, we need to have a related path for the image as well. And here, um, I will add, uh, Okay, I will add no image available, uh, no IMG image APA available, available. I will search like this and I will go image. Uh, right now I will add here this one and copy image address, okay? So here, like this, and then here, um, because we, for this item there is no image, that's why no image available is um, here. So if you um, go back to the dashboard, select dashboard, I mean admin dashboard, um, you can have, uh, you can so um, what I'm going to do is product user controller where um, we will fetch the latest item, okay? So um, who are the uh, order by order by ID DSC, okay? So um, this will be the um, new product ads, okay? This new product ads here, we will add more image like document IMG, for example, I will add one, okay, two, three, three image, okay? And then I will submit new product ads. In the new product ads we have images. As you see here, the first image of that product has been shown here. Um, I will show you how we have index products. Okay, um, for the first item is new product as this one. And product images is a list. Okay, there are there are three images. So in that product images we find the index zero, and then that index has an image. So this image is showing here. So we use best product image the image name. Okay. So for the other it doesn't have. Uh, what's wrong? What's what, what, what's wrong with this one? Uh, one or more product DD, one or more product DD, this one, I think one or more new product update DD, um, edit, um, yeah, I think uh, we need to delete because there is no image for this, uh, we will add, okay, two more image and submit, so we flash it, yeah, the first image is showing, the rest, there is no image, that's why it doesn't show here, so thank you guys, um, in the next video, I will show you um, here, if the user is authenticated, I will show um, this icon, if not, I will have login, and register something like this and we will have um, shopping pad here and if we click on um, uh, we will have another button like add to, add to cart or something so if we click we'll add to the cart so we'll, we'll do in the next video thank you so much